Hey folks, today we learn about the use location hook provided by the React Outer DOM. So without any delay, let's get into it. This is a very simple app that I made uh, so that you guys could understand this hook better. So what we'll, we try to achieve here is when the user clicks on the details, if this details link or button should be highlighted when the user clicks on this followers, this followers button should be highlighted and the same thing should happen for this following button. So we'll achieve this now. So let's get to the code. Here in the code, you can see we have three buttons. Actually, these are three links which uh, direct to the different routes. For example, the details button route to the profile route. This uh, followers button will direct to the slash profile slash followers. And the following button will direct to the slash profile slash following. Okay. Now, uh, what we are trying to achieve is we want the user to know where he currently is by highlighting that particular button okay so let's do it so in order to do it let's use this use location hook from the outer dom and one more thing if you if uh, some of you guys were wondering what this outlet is this is something that i taught you in uh, nested routing uh video of mine so you can watch that video if you want to understand it if you don't then uh just understand this here this is of like no use no so you could understand use location without needing to know what this outlet is doing so yeah let's do it so what we'll do is this use location provides us with this path name okay so this what is this path name this path name is the current location of the web page no so yeah so we need to destructure this use location in order to get the path name no and you can simply console log this path name to know that where we are now let me just console log this thing so that you could understand now if i go to console yes you can see that since we are on the slash profile uh, route, you can see slash profile in here. When we are on this followers, you can see slash profile slash followers. We can, you when I go to the following, you can see slash profile slash following, okay. So we can use this to our advantage. So how we'll do it, let's see. So, okay, so what we'll do is, We'll say, we'll simply say, we'll have a class name, nav button, okay. So, yeah. So, we'll say, if path name is equals to equals to uh, slash profile, then do what? This is the conditional operator, then do what? render this class like um, make use of this class active button else make use of this class nav button which gives us the normal button and this active button will give will give us the colored button or the highlighted button no so yeah that's what we'll do and i make this class very quickly first let me just make the class name for all of these buttons Okay, here if the path name is slash profile slash slash followers, then uh, then use this styling given by active button, else use the styling given by nav button. So nav button is the normal styling and the active button is the, the styling that will highlight a, will highlight the particular button depending on the path we are on. Okay, so let's quickly make this active button the nav button let's and you don't have to see all the styling and all just concentrate on nav button and active button that's more than enough so what we'll do is the basic styling that nav button has will also apply the same styling to active button and after doing that we'll change the background color of active button so okay so let's have this background color and uh, instead of black color of this uh, button will have white color 
okay so now let's see if things are working fine or not so let me just reiterate what we did did here is depending on the path name we change the we change the styling okay depending on the path name we change the styling and from where we are getting the path name we are getting the path name using use location hook okay so let's see if it's working fine or not so yeah it's working see if i'm on the details See here the pro the the route is changing and hence this is being highlighted and here you can see again the route is changing and therefore this is being highlighted again you can see the route is changing and hence this is being highlighted so this is a very uh, simple example let me show you a very interesting example so this is uh, so yeah so this is the app that I that I recently made so this is the actual app. So like this is a full flash, full flash app, no, with all the API calls and all, no, where all the features are working and everything here is working. So yeah, with authentication and all, but you don't have to go into it. But I, I'll show you a very cool feature that I implemented using this uh, use location hook, and I don't have to make this this card again and again, this card component again and again, because what was actually happening, no, when uh, let's say that I open this video, okay, and uh, Let's say I, op I open this video. So these videos that I op that I'm opening will go to the history page. Now in the history page, I'm I'm using this these same cards, this this same component, this same card. But you can see when I hover over these cards, we have three options: watch later, add to like, and add to playlist. Okay, we got three features. Although I'm using the same card here, the options change. It says watch later, add to like, add to playlist, and remove from history. This additional option is being added. So how I did it? Let me show you. It's very easy. So depending on the location I am on, you can see uh, this is the video card component. You can see here. You can see see if just see this code, just see this piece of code, and you'll understand. If path name is slash history, then do what? Then only uh, I should be able to say remove from history. Otherwise, it won't be seen. So it's it's cool, no? So I did the same thing for playlist and all. But yeah, you get the gist of it. What I am trying to tell you. So these are kind of the cool things that we can do using this use location hook. Although it's very simple to understand. And uh, one more thing is, as you can see here, yeah, we can use this use location hook. Uh, to render side effects also based on the location that our user is currently on. Okay. So yeah, see this can be useful if you'd like to perform some side effect whenever the current location changes. So yeah, these are the some of the applications of use location hook. I hope you understand it and if you enjoy the video and extracted some value from it, I really appreciate if you could give a thumbs up and subscribe to my newly made channel. So that's all from my side and we'll meet next time.